Hello everyone, our most requested integration is here. That's right, Notion has now joined Morgan's lineup of task integrations and I cannot be more excited. Notion is a powerhouse when it comes to scoping and mapping tasks and projects, but all those beautiful databases with carefully mapped out properties can easily become visionary documents, unless properly planned. And this is where Morgan comes in. Morgan makes it easy to plan when to tackle each task, taking into account all your time commitments. So let's take a look at time blocking tasks in Morgan. First, you'll notice that it's really easy to distinguish my Notion tasks in my calendar. Like all scheduled tasks in Morgan, they are empty of color other than the borders. You can see the red border here. And they have this empty checkbox just begging to be marked complete. Try not to click on it right now. And they have this little logo here to indicate that this task is from Notion. When you time block Notion tasks in Morgan, you can add them to any calendar. So you can see right here, if I were to grab this journal task right here, I have the ability to adjust it to any of the calendars that I have on my Morgan account currently, and then easily unschedule the task as well to remove it from my calendar. So Morgan integrates with nearly every calendar. You have a mix of calendars from different providers, say an Apple calendar for your personal life. I'll look at work and fast mail for your side hustle. You can bring them all together in Morgan. So we go to the top right here, Click Manage Calendars, and you'll notice that when I press this plus icon, we have all of the different calendar providers right here. Bringing those calendars together helps you see all your time commitments in one place and also means you can schedule each Notion task into the most appropriate calendar. So if I wanna schedule a task here, which is my weekly earning potential review, I can just drag it over here when I wanna work on it. Since I can't set my main Rise Productive calendar, which is the name of my business, and like my basic work calendar to be my default calendar for task scheduling, it's captured in the right place. I can easily tell it's in the right place because if you notice that border color, that's the color that I assigned to my work calendar. But since this task here is less work and more for me personally, you know, a little journaling, I wanna schedule it in my life calendar so I can drag it onto my calendar at the right time then open up the task and assign a different calendar. You can see right here, how about growth? You know, we all need a little bit of growth in our life and journaling definitely helps that for me. So time blocking here isn't just about scheduling a task, but it is even more importantly about protecting the time to focus on the task at hand. Let me show you what I mean. If we go back to that earlier task for weekly earning potential review and, and we open it up, we can click to open the widget and you'll see that it's marked as busy. This is based on my default settings because I like to make sure that the time I'm dedicated to important tasks doesn't get booked over with calls and meetings. Now, if my team member checks to see when I'm available to meet, this time slot appears busy. Additionally, the time slot is no longer available to be booked in my scheduling links. For tasks that are less time sensitive, I can always change them to be marked as free. Simply click on this and adjust it to free and press save on the task. When I drop a task into my calendar, next, I can create as many work sections as, as I need for big tasks. So when I drop a task into my calendar, it will size based on the duration I set in Notion. And I can adjust it by as needed by extending or shrinking the size of this calendar block. As you saw earlier, I thought that maybe this amount of time wasn't enough, so I just gave it a little bump in space in time by extending or shrinking the size of that calendar block. Some tasks are gonna require more than one block of time. Consider this, over here I'm planning a multiple stage sequence for uh, working on turning one of my team members into a manager. So I'll have to copy this out and I can paste it very easily and then make multiple blocks here. This isn't a one and done tasks and I know I'm gonna need two to three sessions to get through it. So able to do that so easily because I clicked Command C, copy it, and then pasted it with Command V. So I could do this as many times as I need. I could paste this out again, with Command V one more time, or as many different slots as I need. And if I feel like I wanna move it, I can drag those scheduled tasks around if I didn't paste them quite in the right spot. As you can see, I overpaced a little bit there. So I dragged it from here to here. Now let's talk about what happens when a task is marked as complete in Morgan. A couple of really cool things happen. And that's because it's really easy to keep the status of my tasks in sync between Notion and Morgan. As you can see here, I currently have it set up so that I unchecked show scheduled tasks. But by default, when I drag something over here, it still keeps the item on the sidebar. However, it showcases when it is scheduled on the calendar. Now, for example, for this task, what happens when I check this off is that we celebrate. <laughs> Let me see if it gives 
a nice little celebration movement there. And the task will essentially be removed from my task list. As you saw, it just disappeared, which in that view, will keep it uncluttered so you can focus on open tasks in this view specifically. In my calendar, this check mark indicates the task is complete. And most excitingly, if I go back to Notion, so I can click on this, it checked it off inside of Notion, which is so cool. By clicking on that little logo, jumped right back in here and seeing that the status is now updated to be complete, that's really awesome. And for now, the status is the only property that you can update for Morgan. If you want to adjust other details, be it due date or dependencies, you can jump from Morgan directly back to the task in Notion, update to details, and then see those changes reflected inside of Morgan. So if you're ready to turn those beautiful databases into clear action plans, connect Morgan and Notion and see the magic happen. And keep watching for more tips for crushing your tasks using Morgan. With that being said, thanks so much for watching. We appreciate all your support and we'll see you in the next one.